Yeah. Give a guess. I ain't got a guess. <laughs> Write something on the tablet. <laughs> hey guys, it's Jordan again, and I'm with. Uh, I'm Jakarik. And today we'll be doing a Yu-Gi-Oh trivia. Yeah, cool. Are you? Yeah, that's great. Good okay. Luck. The reason you guys are both here is because you both have minor experience with Yu-Gi-Oh. How much Yu-Gi-Oh do you guys experience? Do you guys both have right now? Video games, I that are outside of actual Yu-Gi-Oh. And now recently, actually did a trivia, like not a trivia, but our cards get a bad video. Yeah, that was a video. They liked it. And so. What about you, Jakarik? How much Yu-Gi-Oh experience, knowledge? I watched the show uh, all those years ago. And I started doing the uh, Master master Duel. Yeah, Master Duel. Because of Duel Links. Oh, so they're them. pros. Yeah, these, these are pro Can't Yu-Gi-Oh. Can't go wrong. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna <laughs> say that. I did it once. So the way this quiz is going to work is there are 15 questions, and I will ask you the questions. You have to answer them from memory. 15 is a lot of questions. If you both, <laughs> if you both agree that you don't know the answer, then you can ask for the multiple choice. That's really it. The answer will not always be C. You guys ready? Not at all. Good. Hey, not I don't know how ready. it's gonna turn out. Hopefully, you know. I was kidnapped. I, <laughs> I can come out on top, man. Question one: What year did the Yu-Gi-Oh anime premiere in the United States? If both of you don't know, then you can agree for multiple choice. Well, I definitely don't know. I'm gonna take a crack at it, you know. We can guess this. I mean, you know, just what year did the anime start airing? You both have an answer. Yeah. You don't sound confident, but okay. I mean, I just took a guess. I know the general <laughs> time frame. One, two, three. 2000, no, 2001. We're in the same area, okay. The year is 2001. Ah! Yeah, okay. it is 2001. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Actually, one of the multiple choice was 1999. I didn't know if that would start. I, I thought about that, but I was like, no. Nah. It, it started like a little bit after that. There may have been like a Japan area or something. Do you know if you actually watched it in 2001? No. You don't. You watched it later? Definitely. In 2001, I was like three years old. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> how, old, how old were you in 2001 yeah, to know that? Question two. What are the names of Yugi Moto and Seto Kaiba's iconic Ace Monsters. I don't know if I spelled it right, but we're gonna go with it. I'll be lenient. That is we're not grading man. spelling. Hey, I don't wanna look crazy. <laughs> this is interesting because I feel like for us, this would be like the easiest thing in the world, but like, you know, like, no, because we're I'm nerds. pretty confident in this one. Okay. Ready. Both strong good. All right, three, two, one. Oh, hey. It's okay. too late now. <laughs> Wait, so, what, so what did you each put? You guys can say your answers if you want. You put... So I put Exodia because, I mean, it's Exodia. I remember that one. Um, but I don't know if it would have been Yugi per se or his grandpa. I remember his grandpa. And then Blue Eyes White Dragon. I put Dark Magician and Blue Eyes White Dragon. Yeah, so it's Dark Magician and Blue Eyes White mm, Dragon. I... So Granted, I see where Jakarik was like thinking. Oh, I, mean, I mean, it's Exodia. I mean, literally, I, like... I, he, he, didn't, he didn't always it use it. Once. Yeah, that's true. Jakarik gets one point, and Jordan gets two points. Oh, they got a point for each yeah, one. Yeah, a point for each one they got right. All right, question three is, what TV program did Yu-Gi-Oh! originally air on? Hint, it's the same network that aired Pokemon, Jackie Chan, and Static Shock. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, Jordan's way too young. I remember it like it's... Now remember, guys, right. if you both are stumped, you can choose to do multiple choice. It's a, it's, I yeah, got a couple it, guesses right in my mind because they head, played on like, multiple, it, like, channels. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it just depends on what you had growing up. Like, I some think people this had, get, like... Just give us the options because there's a couple different ways this could go. Jordan, you want multiple choice? You yeah, have I'm to gonna both go, agree for I'm going to go multiple choice. Okay. okay. Is it A, Nickelodeon, B, Fox Kids, C, Kids WB, or D, Cartoon Network? I'm sure you guys okay. lost all four of these at some point. I thought like Jordan screwed. Oh my goodness. I got yeah. a 50 50 shot. I know I know it's one or two. I can't all remember. Right, which what's, one. What was C? I gotta get my lead back. I just gotta hide my screen. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is like a, a hard question for Jordan. He was like just still sucking on his thumb. <laughs> Three years old to 2001. That's what Still had the pacifier in his mouth. <laughs> No, uh, it aired Pokemon, Jackie Chan, and Static Shock. They were also all on this. That won't help him. He wasn't. I mean, that doesn't help him. Yeah, that's true. But <laughs> but you should definitely watch Static Shock. That show I've, just... I've seen all of it's these, man. Okay. It's a classic. 
<laughs> All right, I'm, let's go, let's go. All right, three, two, one. I feel like you looked at my, my okay. sad. <laughs> so you both said Kids WB, okay. It is Kids WB. Ah! Yes. <laughs> Do I want the burger or the chicken? Chicken. Chicken. I'll get the burger. Fine, make it with cheese. With cheese? Do you want onions? Yes. No. I mean, no. And don't forget the ketchup. Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. to fight me. I was going to try to say, like, Fox Kids was kind of the trick question. Fox Kids was, 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 was a trick question. Yeah, yeah Fox was Kids. That one. Fox Kids had Digimon. Power Rangers. Yep. Power Rangers. Yeah, the Digimon yeah. theme song kind of slapped. Because it turned into Disney Channel as well after a certain point. Because um, <laughs> you would watch, like, Power Rangers and everything. And it would be, like, Sweet Life with Zack and Cody and stuff like that as well. Those are the same channel? It would, I think it would transition. Or it transition. Yeah. yeah. The same... Okay. Also depends on your region too. Though. Yeah, like, it definitely. Like local or cable. Mm -hmm. So it could very much vary depending on where you grew up. True. So this True. was a question for the South. Only us <laughs> This is ours. Question four. Name as many different Yu-Gi-Oh characters as you can. You get one point for each. Oh God. I just Do spelling count. Full name spelling like... doesn't count, and you can just say the first name. Okay. Yeah. We should put a limit on how many characters. We're can gonna have. cap it at like six. Okay. If you can name six, that'll, that'll be the most points you can get. I feel like surely they can both. <laughs> You're right testing there. my mastery of Roman numerals with um, this one. I probably should have gave myself more space. I think you can just scroll. I'm not sure. Uh, we are gonna find out. Maybe not, because I'm running. I'm running on blanks now. Um, I that means like, do we, do, so we, many can, do we like do the like the actual characters, not the core characters, or the, um, the, the actual okay, characters? Okay, 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 okay. Um, Yugi Moto and like so on. Well, you weren't supposed to give an answer, answer, bro. Like, what you mean? Wait, y'all weren't gonna put Yugi as a character? Yeah, you just said that. I mean, it was a given, but yeah. Somebody hadn't written Yugi yet. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <And>, like, <laughs> the character's like, oh, I don't know. I, I know, know I know. So I'm, I'm drawing a blank, even though I know it. I, I got a lot of faces just running through my head. <laughs> I just thought about it. You can look around the room. <laughs> don't look around the room. <laughs> <laughs> don't look around the room. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, don't don't look around the room. There's a few be. around here. There does, it, does it only have to be from the very first Yu-Gi-Oh series? Yeah, just just the okay, yeah, right. it's original Yu-Gi-Oh show. I really forgot their names. Um, <laughs> I, I remember <laughs> what they looked like and stuff like that. <laughs> All right, so I can describe more than I can. If you name. can describe them well enough. Oh, that's his name. There we go. Okay, no, yeah. nah, nah, I wouldn't do descriptions. You gotta give us a name. Yeah, that's true. I guess <laughs> I guess that's, that's fair. I think I gotta know. I know more, but I mean, I, I, I'll, I'll settle with that, man. I'll settle with this I got. He said he gotta leave. Yeah, okay, it's fine. He did say it, didn't I feel disrespected. <laughs> <laughs> you said we're gonna do six? Yeah, we'll cap it at six. All right. Like six is like the most points you can get from it. All right, I'm ready when you guys are. I mean, I guess I'm ready. I can't think of another one right now. All right, reveal in three, two, one. <clears throat> Okay, you guys gotta just say like. All right, I'll, I'll read them as well. Yeah, you can read. Yeah, read them out. What do you, All right, you can go first. So I had Yugi Moto, Muto, or have you said Seto Kaiba, Joy. I can remember the last name. Joy Bandit, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no. I remember he had to do that. Yeah, oh, Joey Wheeler. Bandana. Joey Wheeler. Okay. Uh, Pegasus and Mai. I think Mai was a character. Yes, Mai Valentine. Fine. Okay, that's five for your character. Okay. What about you? All right. I had my Yubi, Joey, Kaiba, Tristan, Mokuba, Bandit Keith, Pegasus. He knows. Oh, okay. he, knows. Oh, he got six. <laughs> he got six right okay, there. Okay, six for Jordan, five for Jakari. I mean, only reason I thought of Mokuba because he's being always annoying as hell in the anime. Yeah, yeah. he gets captured. So I was yeah. trying to think of Kaiba's little brother's name, but I just forgot. Uh, I mean, yeah, Mokuba's Mokuba. a weird name. Oh, that was it? Mokuba? Yep. Yeah, oh, Mokuba okay. Kaiba. It, he it's was just, I, he was very iconic for this, so. He just got captured. I just want to draw attention to the fact that uh, Jacaric said Joey and described Bandit Keith. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was wondering if he also, if he put both of them on there. So they were two different characters? Two different yeah, characters. okay. <laughs> Joey Wheeler and Bandit Keith. No, nah, I should have put him. He's, got, he's the one with the bandana and the. You had the two characters he in had, one. He had the, the, that, um, that Glock pointed at. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he pulled the gun out. Thing. Yeah, he pulled the gun out on Pegasus. What word does Yugi use to describe Exodia when he used it to beat Kaiba in the first episode of the anime? Fill in the 
The quote goes, My grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards, Kaiba, but it does contain the blank. Exodia. I remember now. This is from the very first episode of the anime. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jordan looks more confused than the characters. I'm surprised. Which question is this? Um, this is question number. I lost. Wait, I think I lost. five. Yeah. Five. I gotta catch up. I tried to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like your character does not want multiple choice on this one. Nah, I'm uh, good on this one. I, I feel confident. You. It's like I know. It's like. The quote is there, but I don't know what he called Exodia. The Bandit Key. Exodia. <laughs> Bandit Band Key. Yeah, that's the answer. <laughs> All right, I got the answer. Okay. Three, two, one. Reveal. Oh, man. I, mean, I saw it right. I was like, yeah. Darn. Okay. So the answer is. The Unstoppable Exodia. But Ooh, Exodia's on. name is Exodia the, the Forbidden, forbidden One. one. Oh, I, see, man, we, all right, all right, okay, all right. Here's you both get it wrong. You were in, you were in a ballpark. They didn't the know right what one. it was called. It's in they the wrong know. ballpark. Yeah, the uh, the multiple choice was. What if it was aired at like? What if they changed the words? You know, they'd be editing things around when they, they didn't. They didn't <laughs> that one didn't change. Yeah, the multiple choice was unbeatable, indomitable, invincible, and unstoppable. That's what I. I still probably. Indomitable would have been nice. I feel like that's the a indomitable word. Hey, I don't think he would say that though. That was, that's like an American hero type of word, you know. That's no. true. I, I couldn't see that one. That's, that's kind of true. Yeah. I mean, that's why I was dubbed for American. <laughs> What was the price of a pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards in 2002? And you get a bonus point if you can tell me how many cards come inside of a pack. It's a regular pack of But there's multiple type of packs, though. So. Like a regular pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Okay. Poor jo 2002? He was four! <laughs> I mean, for what it's worth, the price hasn't, like, really... I mean, it's... That's true. The price is the same how much for they a very for now, long like... time. Is, is it just, like, you talking about the single, like, card pack? Like, like you got, pack. like, the one, boxes? Just one booster pack. The pack that yeah, you like would rip open. like a booster pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It was, it was sitting at Walmart. You could, just pick, you could just take it, rip it open, take the cards out, and leave out of Walmart. I can... I'm, I'll, <laughs> I feel more confident in the guess of the number of cards versus the <laughs> price. So, uh, multiple choice? Yeah. Hey, I if, if anything... How much would you pay for a pack of cards? Maybe you're right. $5. All right, here's the multiple yeah. choice. Is it A, $2.99, B, $3.99, C, $4.99, or D, $1.99? This sounds like more than a pack. Like, it sounds like a <laughs> set or something like that. I'm just going to write the answer that I'm going with. And this was a two-point question, right? Yeah. Yeah, you get a bonus point if you can name how many cards or tell how many cards come into a Have pack. they opened a pack? Have you guys have you guys opened a pack of Yu-Gi-Oh? My brothers did. In but... like 2001. <laughs> oh, so he did open I he did open them. So. Like, duh, go. My on. brothers actually they played, so like they had like tons of cards, but I never personally played. So. Uh, I'd have no clue, but I'ma just guess this. Like if I went home right now, I could probably find just random cards just like all in the closet and stuff for like back shields. So. You gotta bring that down here. You all right. Go through them. Yes, so good. you guys both ready? You gotta. I'm ready as I'm gonna get. Answer. Okay. Three, two, one. Reveal. All right. So I put 1.99, and I did like 10 plus one, because you know sometimes they give you the bonus card. I don't know. And you said 4.99, and you get 10 cards. The answer is 3.99, and you get nine cards per pack. <laughs> nine so cards. Not even a ten. Number. So yeah. close. It's weird. Yu-Gi-Oh is like the only game that does nine. Like Pokemon no and Magic the Gathering and stuff, they always do like 10 or 12 or something like that. So it was 3.99 or 2.99? 3.99. God. I don't know where well, I didn't pay it. It actually, a pack of cards stayed 3.99 up until last year. Yeah, they only recently <laughs> increased the price. Yeah. Inflation, you know. I, I can't believe my parents paid three hundred nine for a pack of cards. <laughs> I had to beg for them. I, I would get them once every blue moon. I got like one pack, and that was it. I don't even know what happened to them. How did Yugi lose his Exodia cards? They don't know. I just that. thought of another I name that I could have no used <laughs> for Exodia. Oh, it's just something for naming characters. Oh. Uh, oh, I see. I, I I know what name he thought of. I lost Exodia. You both don't know, you can get multiple choice. I have no idea, but he's pretty something. confident over He wrote that, something. So. Yeah, Jordan's happy. He's I'm like, yeah, playing episodes in my head. Are <laughs> <laughs> uh, you ready? All right, three, two, one. Reveal! So I just 
pull this out of thin air. But I remember, like, they got his grandpa back at some point, so he may have traded him in for the grandpa. <laughs> 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 <No>. <laughs> like, I have no idea. And Jacaron put Weevil through his cards overboard. I was on the ship. I true. do remember that. Though. Yeah, Jordan is right. We will. Dog, how did you Exodia pull that one out? Man, I, I do. I, we used to watch it all the time, and it's like it's iconic parts that pop out like that. It just yeah. got the worst. Certain words will make episodes play in your head. Like I did like, not remember that till I heard that answer. Yeah, I remember he. Uh, he's like he has to see his rare Zodiac cards, and then he like <laughs> to put Weevil. And then Joey tried to I, go he get was him. in my head, but I couldn't think of his name at the time. Yeah, Weevil Underwood. Throughout the anime, Yugi preaches about his card's ability to overcome any challenge. What's the phrase he uses to describe this? I feel like this is a giveaway. Yeah. They say it's a giveaway, then they get it wrong. Hey, watch your mouth. Man, if I get this wrong, somebody lying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's a, I feel like people will hear about it a lot. Like, this is like the catchphrase of the show. Like, yeah. Hmm. All right, then. All right, three, two, one. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Okay, yeah. fair enough, fair enough. Right. <laughs> okay. In the lore of the anime, how many copies of Blue Eyes White Dragon originally existed before Seto Kaiba ripped the last one? See, I had an answer, but then I just remembered that random nine that we had a couple questions back, so now I'm kind of shaking, shaking by it. I'm just, I got my guess, man. I might be wrong, but... No, I'm just gonna go with this. No, 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 it's kind of in between both of my answers that I, I had. I mean, I want to so. try to like... You want to... Yeah, okay, okay. I'm trying to use like a little memory. Do you right. both have an answer? I have an answer, but it's kind of in between my two other choices. So I'm just going to go in the middle. All right. On three. One, two, three. Reveal! Four and three. The answer is four. Oh! oh there were yeah, originally yeah. four blue eyes white dragons. See, I was finna write three. I just, but I'm like, I just remember like he used he had three played at one time. See, I, I, I remember yeah, he like he had oh. three in his hand, but I'm like, it was it was something off of it. He took yeah. the fourth from Grandpa. Over the years, Yu-Gi-Oh has had many sequel anime series that feature new main characters and stories. Name as many as you can for one point each. Just as many characters or the main right. characters. Right. The Just name as many of -Oh titles of new Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Okay. You might have heard of some of these just throughout the years. You should have. I think the... Maybe they'll know like one or two. And don't look around the room. Oh yeah, that might help them. Uh, I'm just making sure you don't look on my tablet. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know this anymore. I lost my thought. I think I got all the ones that I can think of. How many did they have? No, I got <laughs> There's a total right. of eight. What? What? Eight. <laughs> eight if you include like the main series. Did they did they air in America? Cause I know them. So do they change like the name like for each arc? No. Well, I mean they add like a like a subtitle. That that's what I mean. Like yeah. But we're talking about the like it'll be like marquee titles. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm I, only, only, I only got I two only. that I can think of. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, three. I don't even know if they both two, right. One reveal. Okay, so... All right, you kind of got to tell well, us. Yeah, what you tell us what you wrote. I, I can't... Oh, know. my bad. I wrote uh, v Reigns. I remember hearing or seeing that phrase at some point. Oh! And uh, GX. Okay, um, and you have... I have five Ds, GX, Reigns, and Zexel. Okay, you're both right in all of yours. You get four points, mm. you get two points. Ooh, it's kind of interesting the character though. v Reigns. It's called Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains, like oh, V-R-A-I-N-S. Okay. But he did remember it. But he did remember... How did you hear about Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains? That's like a newer one. I, I, it it, it, like it I is saw very it popular in marketing, though. Like, mm. you see it a lot, especially on, like, free, like, um, um, movie apps and stuff like that and TV apps. It is on there a lot. Oh, that's, that's a surprise. True. You can go on Tubi. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably true. Tubi has some stuff. Yeah, but there are actually eight Yu-Gi-Oh! series. That's can we get the names of those? They are Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters. That's the original one. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel. Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. Ah, uh, that's the one Yu -Oh! I Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains. Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s. And Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush. Only Go Rush has not been shown. Go anymore. Rush is going to be airing in America like this year. <laughs> At some something. point. Okay. It's very new. Most people haven't heard of it. I, I should have put like, the, the basic one, but I I thought that wouldn't, it wouldn't even count. I thought it was the only yeah, one after that's that. Fair. I, mean, I didn't even know it had a second part to the name. It was just Yu-Gi-Oh to me. <laughs> I mean, I think it actually technically is like just Yu-Gi-Oh. It's only Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Monsters in Japan. Yeah, 
stuff. So I don't really know. I mean, I I'm not going to get that name. I didn't even know we could put that one. Like, I didn't listen yeah, to the question. Yeah, that's why I was saying. I would have put that one on that too. <laughs> Pot of Greed is a simple but effective card used by many different characters in the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. What does the card do? <laughs> I feel so bad. What does Pot of Greed I do? I just did a freaking, tr um, is it good or bad? I know I didn't have that card specifically, but. You know, I feel like this was in one of my Duel Masters decks. Like, can we get any part of the answer? <laughs> Like, I don't even know if I'm gonna get part uh, of it. I don't right, think you like... can. I don't think it's possible <laughs> okay. it was just part of this okay. answer. I don't, uh, hey, maybe I'm thinking about it wrong there. It's a very simple effect. Pot of greed. Pot of and don't look around the room. <laughs> you I should have chose a different room. Yeah, we should have just covered <laughs> everything right. in here. You can also go multiple choice if you want. You, you want to go multiple choice? Uh, I was actually writing the answer. Oh, oh, he's confident. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's not that I'm confident, but I mean, I got a general idea of what I did. <laughs> Y'all yeah, made me wreck my train of thought. I need, <laughs> I need, to, I need to add the, the multiple choice now. So you both want the multiple choice? Yeah, yeah, yeah I lost yeah, my train yeah. of thought when we were speaking. I, I was going with something, but I didn't know if it was going to be too complicated or not. Does it draw two cards from your deck? Destroy two monsters on the field, gain 2,000 life points, or summon two monsters from your hand. I should have won the first option I had. Could have avoided this whole scenario. We both could have been wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jordan probably knows what he thinks it is now. I think they both Multiple choice wrong. makes it pretty easy. Well, so in my head, I had a visual of what was going on, and I think writing it out was just kind of... Making it too, uh... Yeah, I was definitely going too, way too complicated. And none of that was like... All right, one, two, three. Reveal! Your vote really are correct. correct. Pot of greed. It allows me to draw two new cards to refresh my hand. So what I was writing was it like, because doesn't it have like a shuffle animation or something like that where you kind of shuffle and yeah. draw two cards? So what you're thinking of is all of... So Pot of Greed is the original card. Mm -hmm. It's that mug face thing over there. Over the years, that card's banned because it's really good. It's banned. Over the years, they've made new versions of it, and that's what you're thinking like, of. Like Pot of Desires and stuff like that. Yes. Pot of Desires, Pot of Extravagance, Pot of um, you know this and that. And they all have like different, similar effects, but not like quite as good. So it'll be like, banish some cards from your extra deck, and then draw two, and then shuffle your, you know, that. Yeah, I, See, I, was I was going to go with about. something like this. I was going to yeah. be like, like yeah, this, I was in the middle of writing it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why I made sure in my question, I was like, Pot of Greed is a simple but effective card. So that way, that I means nothing think to think me. of. During the Battle City tournament arc of Yu-Gi-Oh, there are three ancient, powerful monsters. The Yugi, Kaiba, and the villain Merrick are all trying to obtain. What are these three cards collectively called? And bonus points if you can name each of them individually. Do I have to? Do I have to um, write the other three cards, or can I just say it? You can just say the name. Okay. Just, just the, they're collectively called. You do get bonus oh, points wait. for listing them, though. Do I have to write it? So I can, tell, write I can say it. Cards, like, cards I got the answer. Yeah, there's like a collective umbrella term for what they all are, and then you can just get a bonus point if you can name. All three of them. Uh, I think I can name at least two of them now, but I don't know about the collective thing. I got this, man. I feel like <laughs> it's interesting. If you can name two, you probably have the. I don't. Oh, the umbrella term for it. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> the confidence. Of I no, you can do multiple choice if you want. Yeah, well, he he know the that. answer. Like, what do you mean? You know. And what are they collectively called? Hmm. You know it, man. You said it before. I said it. You, I'm sure you know you it. You said it before. Today. Not today, but you've said it before. You've definitely said it. That's crazy. I, he, I think he's right. I think I have heard you say it. <laughs> yeah, I, he said I it before. Think I, I said it before. He said it before, yeah. just not today. He that definitely said wild, it before in, in our other videos. Like, are you ready to reveal? You ready to reveal? I guess. I'm taking up too much time. I mean... I'm ready. All right, ready? Three, two... One reveal. They are the Egyptian god cards. Are you the god. correct answer? <laughs> um, I will, however, give Jacaria well, a point. George, you said that you could name them. I can name them. The Winged Dragon of Raw, Cypher Sky Dragon, and obviously Tormentor. Uh, yeah. well. He didn't actually put them on his answer, though, so we can't. I th he, Boy, he, he, he actually, actually could, asked well, he if he, asked could, if he could just yeah, put them up. Oh, okay, it. then yeah, he gets the point. Jordan did name one. You though. did name or one. Though. Though. We're gonna give you your one. And you know, I got the name of the most random thing. 
Red eyes, black dragon. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't. I pulled that one out of crack in my. my <laughs> Man, I just assume enjoy this one, but uh, all this, the torment I got from Jump Force. Like I just remember. Oh, that. Oh, I remember that being oh, on yeah. Jump Force. Okay. Yeah, he did use it. Yeah. yeah. What is the name of the infamous place where characters are sent when they lose a duel against a villainous character like Pegasus or Mary? It's sometimes used in memes today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I thought I was overthinking it for a second. I under, did too. Underthinking it too. You probably day. know. There's multiple choice. I'm sure you guys don't need it. Three, two, one. Reveal! They gonna crucify me for the spelling now. <laughs> <laughs> it is the Shadow Realm. Okay. Both right. right. Question 14. What is the name of the piece of jewelry that Yugi wears around his neck? <laughs> I love when like one person just goes to town and the other is just like, like ah, I ain't even got a guess for this one. Like, <laughs> you know this one, man. I probably do, but like I just can't think of it right now. And there it is on his neck over there. It doesn't say what it is, but you know. And I know what it looked like. That's not the problem. Like <laughs> I just can't think of the name. Pe Pegasus has the eye. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he do. I can if I can. I want to spell it right, but. Like once I hear it, I'ma know it, bitch. Right now, we gonna gonna go with it, cause I know. Give a right. guess, you know. It's I ain't gotta <laughs> guess. <laughs> Write something on the tablet. <laughs> One, two, three. Reveal. I mean, I guess I didn't add the actual chain portion, but anyway. Okay, it is the Millennium Puzzle. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought of it, but I knew it. That's funny. One of the answers you put, or the answer you put, is one of the answers I had for multiple choice: the Egyptian Pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> It was the Egyptian Pyramid, the Egyptian Puzzle, the Millennium Pyramid, or the Millennium Puzzle. Name as many Yu-Gi-Oh! video games as you can. I need y'all to make more content. Yu-Gi-Oh! is obviously not for me at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like I already did better with like Pokemon or something like that, you know. Had a better shot. Hey, if you watch more of our videos, you would have had all these. Oh, Jordan's still going. He's just like, well, oh, I had to this one, I know this one. Oh, he's, he's, trying, he's going for every point. <laughs> First of all, how many even are there? Like, it's a lot of games. There's surprisingly a, more than you think. More than like, you think. Is this taking account like card games too, or like just like the just video games? Video games. Video games. Okay. Just game Boy, PlayStation. You know. Game Boy had a version. That's crazy. Yeah. Those, those <laughs> I think it gives us a good idea of where your character's heads at. <laughs> oh, game Boy had one. Like, like. Game Boy had the most. Yeah. <laughs> they had the most. Might be. Surprisingly, yeah. I don't know one that's on Game Boy. See, I feel like that's where I would have thrived in, but you know, again, wrong topic. <laughs> There's Dragon Ball I could have had you, you know. <laughs> One million dollar Dragon country. Ball Jeopardy. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Are you going to have to probably re read them out? Because I... I, uh, I just read them. I yeah. mean, I only have two. All right. right. Three, two, one. Reveal! That's um, Willy Breakers, False Brown Kingdom, um, freaking Duel Master, and Speed Duel. Okay. And I have only heard of one of those. All right, so. And Jacaric, you put? Dual Masters and Dual Links. Oh, it was Dual Links, that's what I was talking. Okay, so this one's tough, but I, I wanna give it to him. It's Master Duel. <sighs> yeah, I will give them Master Duel. I, they both played it, I'll they know I'll give Jacaric is two. Now Jordan. Jordan gets three. Three, because I Dual Links Dual is yeah. Dual Links. Yeah. yeah, okay. Cool, so what are our final point totals? Jacaric finishes with 16 points to Jordan's 25. Yeah, <laughs> he just kind of ran away with it at some point. Yeah, okay, so congratulations to Jordan. You win the Yu-Gi-Oh! Noobs quiz. That's <laughs> basically what this is. But it was fun. I don't know. I think you guys both did like, better than I thought. I, I think if, if Jacaric could do it, do it again now, he'd be a lot better. <laughs> yeah. it would have been a, I think it would have been a lot more spicy if you would have did like, callbacks from like probably like GX and 5Ds, it would have probably made it a little harder. So what did you guys think of the quiz? Was it fun? Did it bring you back to your childhoods? Yeah, it was. Or in, it, infant, infancy? It was fun while it was competitive. <laughs> <laughs> infancy if you're joining. Infancy? No, nah, yeah. it, it, was, it was definitely fun though, because it, it, you start recalling episodes in your head once you start getting to that trivia like that. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks, you guys, for doing this quiz. Uh, I guess we'll see you guys all in the next video. Pass turn. <laughs>